Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. So I've got the AT&T Galaxy S2 um, with the Cyanogen 7.1 running on it. Um, this is still beta, so I don't really uh, advise you to install it um, and run it as daily, but you're um, you know welcome to back up your current ROM, try it out, and you can always go back. Um, so it comes with Android 2.3.7 as with all other Sinogen 7.1 for um, all the other phones. Um, it comes with uh, its own kernel that can be overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz. Um, Sinogen mod settings, and if you go to performance, CPU settings. You can change the max CPU frequency to 1600. Um, available governors, um, just standard ones, and uh, you can do. Actually, interactive is missing. Um, performance, don't set it at boot because uh, your phone might not support it, but mine um, does a pretty good job here. Other than that, it's basically a uh, CM7 mod ROM. Um, I'll show you the lock screen on the latest 7.1 where you can just kind of drag it everywhere and just like that. Um, it comes with, uh, let me see here, just standard apps. You'll have to uh, install Google apps separately. Um, one thing that's missing is the uh, the TouchWiz interface which allows you to change between uh, home screens by holding it down. So you lose that. Um, this ROM is really for people who want AOSP, like Android open source project. Um, just a basic stock vanilla. Um, I personally don't like it as much. I like CM7, um, just not on my Galaxy S2 because you lose all your touch with abilities, uh, which is kind of the feature of the phone. Um, but I know ice cream sandwich I know the, uh, the development kit is here, so I'm looking forward to that if Cyanogen Mod puts that on there. That's going to look really cool. Um, other than that, I've, uh, I've been trying this ROM for a while now, um, and it seems like I'm, I lose a lot of uh, HSPA. I go back to 3G. That's another problem. And also the volume, uh, the brightness. See how... At auto, it's very dim, uh, where it's on touch with it's it's uh, perfect. So this is just I think another bug, um, which will be fixed in the future versions. Like I said, I said this isn't um, the final Cyanogen Mod 7.1, and I'm just you know surprised they even have a, a version out right now. Um, but other than that, everything works. So if you enjoy um, stock vanilla UI, Android UI. You can give it a go. Um, let me run a quadrant test for you. It's running at 1.6 gigahertz um, at performance, and it doesn't. It does pretty good for that. So I mean, it, it's it's a very very good ROM. I've used uh, my favorite ROM probably on my Nexus S is uh, CM7. Actually, I prefer it on all the Nexus devices because you know. I think it runs better. Um, for the AT&T Galaxy S2, um, I would say just wait a little bit longer. I mean, you can try it. If you haven't tried CM7, let me know what you think. So I got 4596. So that's very good. Um, so you get overclocking. You get all this um, CM7 stuff. Um, so it's not a bad ROM. Just I just prefer if they could keep some of the touch wheels feet touch whiz features um, but it's a good ROM try it out uh, let me know what you think um, also you know you can get screenshot reboot you know you can reboot into recovery um, those are good things for developers um, so check it out uh, that was CM7 for Galaxy S2 on AT&T this is for AT&T version only alright see you later thanks